What's up everybody, it is Matt from Electric All Wheel and today we have the JCON Hunter Pro 750 watt rear hub motor, 15 amp hour, 48 volt battery with a 25 plus or minus one current limit controller. Uh, this thing gets it done, full suspension, BMX handlebars. We are going to be adding a second 48 volt battery. We're looking to double the range on this e-bike with an electric all wheel dual battery discharge balance kit. We are gonna show you the installation inside the frame and then we will have the crossbar mounting of the battery with the ability to remove quickly with the straps. These are the bike case straps with the friction backside, two inches wide, full Velcro. So it is a wide platform and it is very sturdy. Make sure to not knock everything over. <laughs> so if you ever have any questions, just remember this thing has the rigidity, especially with this secondary strap. I use two uh, e-bike straps to bring all of this together, including the bike case uh, bottle cage strap adapters for the battery mount itself. So it is a good setup. I love it. 40 amp balancer inside the controller housing. We'll run the wiring out right here, and then we will run it on the hinge side so you can actually fold the bike with this battery attached, which I really like as well. As you can see, we have already gone ahead and done our favorite combination bike case suspension seat post with Cloud9. And you might think that full suspension is the pinnacle, but let me tell you, adding a suspension seat post with a suspension seat is hands down the most Cadillac smooth of rides you've ever been on. So give that a thought, especially if you're going to be doubling the range or more and riding out your dual battery setup, you will want that comfort in your seat. Stick around to the end of the video where we will bring you some range calculations utilizing the Mica Toll Constant. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. It is our primary, and if you're in the area, check out eBikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. Get in that Facebook group, make an event, and go for a ride with your friends. Let's get to it. We're only going to take out the five outer screws on the plate, so keep that in mind. Pull this open. Now, there is a little more clutter in here because the Bluetooth receiver is actually in this controller housing. The maximum current limit of the controller is 25 plus or minus one amps. You can see that right here. And then low voltage cutoff is 40 plus or minus uh, 0.5 volts. It is a 48 volt brushless DC motor controller. Now we would look for uh, the waterproof connections, but we understand that this is a value add to the bike. So with this setup, we recognize that there are XT60s here. So either way, we're home free. We just need to get our cabling inside this controller housing. So there's plenty of room inside here. So we are going to just simply do an internal install for the 48 volt. We'll run our cable up through the bottom and then leave our 40 amp uh, balancer inside the housing. And it's not super easy, but I think it's not going to be terribly difficult either. Okay, we're in. I can see it in the bottom of the controller here. I'm just going to grab a hold of it. There it is. Beautiful. I'm going to bring it out to rest. So now I'm going to take this 40 amp balancer and I'm going to plug in the second battery into one of, this is the second battery cable. I'm going to plug that into one of the imports for the dual battery combination. 
Then going to release my faceplate from the controller, grab my balancer again, and it will be the second battery input. Now the output for the controller here will go to the controller itself, and that's it. So I think I'm going to turn it flat and try and set it on the bottom underneath the cables. Oh, that won't work because of the outlet for the cabling. So I'm going to lay it over on the left hand side. And then I'll feed the controller kind of upwards inside the controller housing. Put that back in. And then what we can do right now is I'm just going to put this on and test to see that everything's working. We got power. And there we got it. That's some um, power to the motor. So the balancer is sending power from the factory battery. So that is good. Now I'm just going to go ahead and button this back up. Okay, now we have our cable, which is down here in the, right at the seat post. And we're gonna get it in behind the frame here and then run it out on the hinge side. So on the back side of this, this is the hinge open. The hinge is actually on the left. And we're gonna bring it right up through these arms of the suspension. So it'll exit here and we brought it out of the frame right here on the left. So then we are going to take our down tube battery. You are not isolated to this battery. You can get any 48 volt battery you want. Make sure it has XT60s and it can deal with the controller output, the maximum current level. So 25 amps, 26 amps off the controller. So you need a BMS that can handle 26 or more. So 30, 40 is a good look for these down tube batteries. Um, and then it has the bike case strap adapters on it. And we've already pre-installed these. If you need to, you can check out some of our other videos. But the situation is this. You need to replace the screws that come with the strap adapters so that the battery can slide over uh, the plate when the screws are installed. These are uh, M5s, so we will leave a link for some in the description below. There are two that are placed in here, but on the bottom there was only one installed, and we did use the screw that came with this strap adapter. I like to make sure the straps are on the same side, and then once I get this installed, I generally just lock it into the battery so it becomes one piece. From there, I'm going to just place it on my bike. I'm watching to leave space right here at the stem so it doesn't hit the battery when it's turned. And then I'm also making sure that my straps go underneath the cabling so they don't squeeze the cables against the frame. I have to give this first one a nice tight fit. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to route around so this strap will come a little bit forward because of the mount for the zip tie for the cable routing. I'm going to bring this one down, making sure that my feet are just nice and centered on the crossbar. There we go. And then I take my pack of two e-bike straps and I tie them together. So this is one strap that's looped back on itself. And then here is another that gives this thing some extra length. I'm going to go ahead and put that here right down the middle on the battery and this will become my main support. I need to make sure that I sift it underneath the cabling here so that it doesn't pin the cables against the frame. There we 
and I get that real tight. Now I'm just pushing the other end all the way back underneath the wrap. There you go. And it's on there really well. Now I like to put my cabling for the batteries on the hinge side and you can actually see this is where they have it for the bikes themselves because when you open the bike you need the cabling to be where the fold is and then not stretched over the outer edge. So I'm going to bring this and go ahead and plug it in and then we'll test that it's working. By opening it, we're disabling the factory battery. Turn on power. Has one. And there it is. So that is the second battery here. That is great. Easy peasy. Now they did have to do some cable routing. So you'll notice they got a mount right here, but that's stuck to the frame. What we like to do is utilize these tidy helper cable clips. They are a dual sided heavy duty sticky. And so you just remove one last side from the clip itself. It's not terribly easy, but I like to know that it's going to stick. And then I like to put it on the cable first, so where the cable may lay naturally, um, I will know. And then there we go. Just stick it on there just like that. So it looks like it's working very well. You guys, keep in mind, you can have the display share the total for both batteries combined, just make sure they're charged up to 100% before you start your first use. 100% charge on the batteries is a for a 48 volt bike is 54.6. So they'll the balancer reads the voltage. So keep that in mind. Charge them up both to 100%, and you will have your display read out the total for both batteries. Whew, it is another hot one here in Florida. Uh, beware, but this is where we live and this is where we're going to do it. So uh, we're out in the elements to bring you this video. We have successfully installed another 15 amp hour battery, essentially doubling the range of the Jason Hunter Pro 750 watt rear hub, 1400 watt max or peak output for this motor. It is awesome. I know a lot of you stuck around for the microtol range calculation, so let's just get to it. The factory battery is 15 amp hours and the second battery is a 48 volt 15 amp hour. So we're going to do 15 plus 15 and you get 30. We're going to multiply that by 48 and you get 1,440 watt hours. We're going to divide that by 25 and you get 57.6 miles out of your JC on Hunter Pro at 20 miles an hour throttle only. This will be, depend on your rider weight terrain, hills, wind, etc. So keep that in mind. Nothing of this setup is waterproof. Also keep that in mind. And you will want to make sure that your battery cable is routed with the rest of the cables on the bike so that it doesn't get crimped. Also install on the hinge side for any mount like this. We do like this. Yes, it can be removed easily, but if you're with your bike and it's on there, it is a good setup to quickly add the range with the security and stability that you'll need on the ride. Keep in mind, we do recommend the bike case suspension seat post. This is a 33.9 millimeter diameter suspension seat post on factory. So this is 30.6 with the 33.9 millimeter diameter shim. And we put that with the Cloud9 suspension seat, uh, one of the cruiser styles. It's, it is a great combination. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. It is our primary, and if you're in the area, check out eBikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. Get in that Facebook group, make an event, and go for a ride with your friends. We will leave links to all the products in the description below, including the JC on Hunter Pro, and we appreciate you utilizing those links to help keep this channel going. We will talk to you next time.